Hey everybody, what's happening? Andy Irvine coming to you from my crib here, Colorado. And I've got the Warwick Rock Base Alien Deluxe five string acoustic bass guitar. Five string acoustic bass guitar. This is the deluxe version from the rock bass line so this is going to be the middle of the road in terms of price there's one that's less expensive than this and then there's the Warwick series which is quite a bit more expensive than this but I can tell you that as far as bang for your buck this instrument is totally happening uh, well first of all it has the spruce top with the nice thumb rest in the cutaway. Um, now this one is going. It, it is built with this beautiful bubinga on the sides and the back, book matched. So I hope you can see that. But man, what an amazing uh, bit of work they are able to do in this price range with the binding being really really nice and the um, and just the overall uh, woods that are used are wonderful now it, this one has the Fishman Presis electronics which is super cool this one has a bass middle and treble control your tuner, notch, brilliance, and a phase button. That phase button will save you um, if you're having weird feedback issues. Same thing with the notch. You know, an acoustic instrument is prone to feeding back. It's just the nature of it. It's a resonant chamber. And with low frequencies, once they get going, they can take off on you. Well, that's why it really makes a big difference having one of these nice Fishman electronic setups on it because you can really dial it in from the instrument. So of course this is the five string version. This one has the bronze uh, round wound strings on it. It's got this really uh, tight uh, B string on here, not commonly found on an, on an acoustic uh, bass guitar. It also has a larger body than the other um, version which is going to make that give that B string a little bit more airspace a little bit more um, volume of body size to make that low B do its thing you know normally on an acoustic bass guitar the B string it's almost pointless that they even have it on there at least some of the ones I've played until until I came across uh, this one I, I hadn't been very impressed with five string acoustic bass guitars this one on the other hand pretty darn nice like with the mid-range boosted way up and the bass cut and the treble cut a little bit. Thank you. 
You know, this one is set up with the action pretty low, uh, lower than I generally would, would have it, especially on an acoustic. But, um, you know, I'm, I'm kind of liking it because of the nature of the EQ, uh, I'm able to get it to sound the way that I want. And uh, it's kind of nice having this lower action. You can really kind of, you can dig in on it really hard because it's got the super uh, big bridge on there and these big pegs that aren't going to come out of there. Uh, you 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 can play it very hard without any fear of it uh, falling apart on you or anything. And uh, you know you cut the middle back down. Boost up the bass, boost up the treble. You could go ahead. And you could slap on it, and it gets a great tone. tighter spacing than I'm used to. I'm used to a broad neck for a five string, so that's why I'm a little clumsy there. So this would be what's considered standard spacing. I hit it with that. This is the phase switch. Boosting the bass way up. sounds like with the treble completely cut and the bass really cranked up and the mids about flat uh, yeah treble is completely cut right now That's got a very, it's got a ton of onboard bass. I probably would never use that much bass. Um, I tend to keep the bass pretty flat. You know, bass is one of those things that it's deceiving. There's more there than you think is there. You don't need to hype the bass all the time. The bass control on the bass, the bass itself, even completely flat, just playing the string with no EQ, there's a ton of bass there. And when you don't hype it on the bass or on the preamp, then the front of house guy can hype it like crazy and he can put you in the subs. And if he puts you in the subs, then, you know, you're, you're, the, you're, the, you're, the, you're the king of the world. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, big PA. If you're, sending him a, if you're sending him a super hyped signal with a ton of bass in it, 
he can't even get you into the subs. And if he does it, <clears throat> you can't even hear it. So if you leave it flat, give it to front of house. I'm talking about front of house. I'm talking about the, the mixing engineer it, at, at, at the, uh, that mixes the, the PA system, the, the front of house mixing engineer. If you send him a nice flat signal, he can EQ you there and give you more in the mains. If you send him a completely hyped signal with a ton of low end in it, overly hyped with the bottom, there's nothing he can do with it. So if you can send it to front of house as flat as possible, like right now it's flat and I love it. You know, I tend to like all these instruments, all these Warwick instruments when they're set completely flat. And what that means is that it's a tribute to the wood. The wood that's used is the primary, you know, it is what generates the tone. It's the combination of the woods that are used that creates the tone. Then comes the pickups, then comes the strings and the electronics and all that other stuff. But it starts with the wood. So there you have it, the Rock Bass Alien Deluxe 5 string, and this thing, I'm going to turn it down now and I'm going to play a little bit up closer. Just to give you an idea that this, as an acoustic bass guitar, normally on an acoustic bass guitar, when it's not plugged in and you're just playing it, you can't even hear the low B. And this thing, not only can you hear it, it's functional, you can use it. You could really, like say in, in B. So that low B is not just on there for, for good looks, <laughs> it works. Alright y'all, check one of these out, Rock Bass Alien Deluxe 5 String Acoustic Bass Guitar, peace.